हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम धर्मेंद्र कुमार चौधरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन टेक्सटाइल केमिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट एट एम एल वी टी सी बिलवारा इन टुडे लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट डिस्पर्स डाइंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू डे लेक्चर वी जस्ट समराइज व्हाट वाज स्टडी इन द लास्ट लेक्चर इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट द रोल ऑफ ग्लास ट्रांजिशन टेम्परेचर इन डिस्पर्स डाइंग activation energy required for dyeing of man made fiber with dispersed dyeing role of crystallinity orientations and heat setting in the dyeing of polyester fabric with dispersed dyeing and very basic property of the dispersed dyeing as well as polyester fiber and dyed fiber now as we discussed in the last lecture very short about the basic concept involved in dispersed dyeing various steps of dispersed dyeing on polyester fiber today we will discuss about the mechanism involved in dispersed dyeing of polyester fabric some in detail dispersed dye on polyester fiber our man made fiber follow the solid solution theory uh, theory where a solid dye is solubilized in another solid fiber phase there is no chemical bonds only physical interactions are involved that is hydrogen bond and van der waals force of attractions except reactive dispersed dye with nylon in solute solution theory uh, as you know in solid solution theory solid dye is directly solubilized on another solid surface that is fiber that's why we call solid solution theory which was exactly in dispersed dyeing with dispersed dyeing on polyester fabric uh, process in dispersed dye bath a very little part of dye is remain in completely soluble form and rest is finely dispersed in soluble form it means when you start the dyeing when you start the dyeing dye bath contain a very little amount of dispersed dye which is water soluble and rest is finely dispersed but water insoluble dye so when fiber fiber or fabric is entered in the dye bath the dissolved dye molecule slide past slide past narrow pore present in fiber and get attached with physical force causing reduction in share of dissolved dye in bath which force dispersed insoluble dye particle to break up and go into the solution to maintain share of soluble dye in bath it means when fabric is entered in dye bath it take up dissolved dispersed dye on its surface and simultaneously insoluble the finely insoluble and finely dispersed dye in dye bath will convert into soluble form as dispersed dye is hydrophobic in nature soluble dye tries to be separated out from the bath and are attached by hydrophobic man made fiber water acts as a vehicle for transferring the dye from bath to fiber it means as just we discussed when soluble completely soluble dye in of uh, dye bath is uh, taken up by the fiber simultaneously uh, dispersed insoluble dye convert into soluble form then it separated out from the bath and attached to uh, man made fiber surface through water as a vehicle rate determining steps in dispersed dyeing the effect of temperature in dispersing agent on dyeing rate is called rate determining step it means how much amount of dye will be taken up by the fiber is depend on effect of temperature and amount of dispersing agent which is added in dispersed dye bath dispersing agent generally facilitate the solubilization of dispersed dye in dye bath now there is a equilibrium conditions e equilibrium conditions means after that after a after certain time there is a point after that point there is no dyeing is happen it means there is the amount of dye taken up by the fiber is not increase at equilibrium condition in dispersed dyeing is when rate of dissolution rate of surface deposition 
rate of absorption diffusion of dye becomes equals to equals to each other it means there is no further dyes as we discussed in last lecture various steps of dispersed dye that is first dissolution of dispersed dye then surface deposition then absorption then finally diffusion of dye inside the fiber structure so when the amount of dye when the amount of dye taken up the fiber is not increased at that situation we call equilibrium condition so in very short at equilibrium conditions rate of dissolution surface deposition absorption and diffusion of dye become equal to each other now now we will discuss about the role of carriers in dispersed dyeing as you know dispersed dyeing uh, is uh, done by three methods in general using carrier high temperature high high pressure or thermosol process so in all type of dispersed dyeing we had dispersing agent very first so dispersing agent is a in inherent uh, inherently present in any type of dispersing disperse any type of dispersed dye so dispersed dye is insoluble in water but little solubility is achieved at high temperature in dispersed dye dye molecules should be remain in dispersion state not in clustered form to keep them in desired state dispersing agent is added in dye bath along with increasing in temperature so when we add dispersing agent in dye bath then solubility of dispersed dye is increased but at simultaneously by increasing the temperature of dye bath also solubility increase dispersing agent impose negative charge on dye to improve aqueous solubility and due to this repulsion among dye molecules increase means and data potential is minus 30 mv to 80 mv if we add dispersing agent in excess quantity then exhaustion of dispersed dye is reduced and develop poor rubbing fastness now now we can say if we add dispersing agent in excess quantity then it will negatively impact the dyeing of polyester fabrics dispersion of dye is achieved through interaction between dye and dispersing agent so quantity of dispersing agent is depend on amount of dye and do not have any relationship with mlr ratio it means how much amount should be added in dispersing agent in dye bath is exactly depend on how much amount of dye you will taken and very specifically the amount of dispersing agent uh, is varied with structure of dye molecules again one of the way, uh, prerequisite of dispersing agent is that that the cloud point of dispersing agent should be at least 5 to 10 degree higher than uh, dyeing temperature if temperature is not more than 5 to 10 degree higher higher then there is chances of precipitation formations of the dye during dyeing so to avoid the precipitation formation dispersing agent must have cloud point at higher than 5 to 10 degree centigrade of dyeing temperatures dispersing agents belongs to mainly formaldehyde condensate fatty alcohol ethylene oxide condensate and lignin sulfonate types along with dispersing agent we use labeling agent in we use labeling agent in dispersed dyeing labeling agents promote labeling agents promote uniform distribution of dye throughout the fiber structure by reducing the strike rates labeling agents should have cloud point beyond the dyeing temperature as same we discussed in this dispers uh, discuss for dispersing agent that the cloud point should be higher than the dyeing temperature Labeling agent are generally non-ioning in nature. Ethylene oxide condensate with aqueous solubility below cloud points, and and they increases or enhance the solubility of dyes 
and excess use reduce diuptic if you use labeling agent in excess quantity then it will then they may be work as a retarding agent it means excess use of labeling agent decrease the diuptic now very third important component of the dispersed dyeing is carrier if you choose low temperature dyeing of polyester fabric functions of carriers